There are only 81 days left of 2023 from the day I'm filming this. Approximately 11 and a half weeks. I don't know if that scares you, but it scares me. So this is your end of year quarter four check-in. I've been really on top of it lately and I'm really proud of myself for it. And I've been feeling so good and I want to take that with me through the end of the year because I don't want to do the whole thing where you like reach the holidays and you know, you let yourself go and then come January, you're trying to like bounce back, whatever. I'm all for love at the end of the year. You know, a little extra love maybe. You have more sweets, you do the extra things, whatever, but I've really been on top of it the past few weeks and I want to keep it that way. It's the morning, literally all I've done so far is wash my face and put on clothes. <laughs> Listen, I actually think having a little daily pill container helps me take my supplements. I purchased this just from Amazon like a couple weeks ago, and when I bought it, I kind of felt like an old, you know, a little little old lady that has to sort through her pills, but I like to use it every day. It, it keeps me organized and actually makes me like take them, you know? I don't take anything groundbreaking. This is literally <laughs> apple cider vinegar, because why not? Always do what's best for you. However, no matter who you are, you should be having water in the morning. I love talking about healthy habits, right? I love all that stuff. If you're not new here, you already know that. But I think now is very important to remind yourself of that very thing and what you want to practice because it's getting colder and colder every single day. Well, at least where I live. And if it's still warm where you live, it's gonna hit you soon, right? Depending where you are. And so if you stick with it now, once it starts getting colder, you'll have that foundation. Foundation is key. It'll be that much easier to stick with things. I always love having a green spotter in the morning. It is so good, not only to be getting veggies right, but also fiber. I feel like fiber is underestimated. You need fiber in your diet. No matter what kind of lifestyle you have, however you choose to eat, whether you have a specific diet, whether you don't, it is so good for your gut health. This one is by Bellway. It's their super greens and fiber. It's formulated with kale, broccoli, spinach, and organic psyllium husk. It basically helps feed the good bacteria in your gut, helps fuel your body, and keep you regular. <laughs> one scoop is one serving of veggies, five grams of fiber, just really helps balance your gut and overall immunity. And I know that gut health is like such a big topic and so many people complain of like bloating and things like that. Look at your diet, right? Do you need extra fiber? And if you are someone that's trying to lose weight or is on some sort of fitness journey, fiber can really help with cravings. It can help you feel fuller for longer and aid in that journey. Just make sure you're drinking enough water. I just do really love to start my day with this stuff. Not only is it clearly good for you, but it's kind of a mental thing, right? If I'm having water, I'm starting my day with the greens. It's kind of like, okay, what's that next good decision I can make? And I have been using Bellway for many, many months. And a big thank you to Bellway for sponsoring this video. I have I've worked with them many times before. I also love, they have gummies and capsules for travel. I'm literally talking about like holidays, end of the year, right? This is just a good thing to have when maybe you are traveling for the holidays, things like that. You can click the link below to get 25% off your first order at Bellway. Love me a good greens powder. Let's move on to protein coffee. Something else that's super beneficial that if you don't do now, I really think is important that you start doing or consider it is just having protein at every meal. I drink protein coffee every single morning, so getting protein right in at the start of my day and my first meal, even though I know coffee's not a meal, I get it, but it's the easiest habit I do because I like wake up and want coffee every day, right? So I just throw it together. 25 grams of protein, done. I'm using pumpkin spice latte by First Form. Okay, I don't know if this is something I am just making up in my head, but you know, people know it's important to eat your fruits and your veggies and whatever, but I feel like both fiber and protein are things that are sometimes, you know, maybe underestimated or a little bit forgotten about, maybe a little neglected. So this is your reminder that those things are important. <laughs> and with any type of diet, lifestyle, way of eating, whatever, you can incorporate those things. Unless Unless you have some sort of restriction, of course. Let's get this day started. Now, don't let the whole like protein at every meal thing intimidate you because it's not like you have to eat four eggs and three pieces of bacon for breakfast, right? Like Greek yogurt, 12 grams of protein in here. I have this for breakfast like almost every single day. I just feel like some of these things have a stigma and they don't need to. Also, I know literally every single like health related video on the internet tells you to drink your water, but I'm just gonna remind you. <laughs> Get a fun cup. I got this for free recently from a Dunkin' near me, and so it's been new and fun, and I've been loving it. 
Okay, don't think less of me. This is literally the easiest task and I oftentimes fail to do it. Lately, I've been so good about making daily to-do lists. I don't know why, but I always plan out my month. I have my Google Calendar is always just marked up like days, weeks, like just coded but my days sometimes I just fail to organize and I need to remember that it always starts from the little things right like your health what you do on a day-to-day -day, what you eat how you move whatever well that also applies to your work when I actually take time to make a priority ranked list of the tasks I need to get done day to day then I stay on top of it then I feel better more confident in what I'm doing I'm happier to do it the weeks go better who would have thought who would have thought? And I'm sure most people make to-do lists on the daily, right? It's not mind-blowing, it's not groundbreaking, but that is something that I've actually been on top of the past few weeks, and I've been proud of myself, okay? How long does it take for something to become a habit? I don't know, but I'm on my way there, and I'm doing it, and I'm feeling better. This summer, I just, I was so unorganized all the time, but lately, my space has been clean. There's not a lot of clutter here, no. I didn't clean up before this video. Look at her, who is she? It's the little things. They all add up, always. Something else really big, I'm sure you've heard the whole term like accountability partner, whatever, before, but I've been filming so much lately and I think that's part of the reason why I've been so on top of it because I've had to be organized. I've had to be practicing good things. I've had to be showing up, right? You and my camera and my job and all this stuff really pushes me, motivates me, makes me want to be better. Documenting things and having multiple angles of like your why or of motivation to do things makes such a difference. Of course, I wanna do things for me. Like I always wanna do things for me. Like it's amazing and so rewarding when I am doing great things for myself and feeling good on the day to day. But having people like on your team and like rooting for you and that are counting on you is just a whole different perspective that really adds to it. And you never know, you know, maybe one of your friends is on some sort of journey or something themselves that you don't even know about. Or maybe you find like a group online of people that you can relate to. Or maybe you start filming yourself. Like putting an effort to go that extra step might help make you more accountable, right? Your why comes from you, but just the different angles and different perspectives that like all add together can make such a difference. I think it's a great strategy. And if you've never tried it, you should try it. A friend, a partner, a group, a community of some sort, wherever you can find it, you know? A team that you're on, like, find some source of accountability. Let's refill and have lunch, I'm hungry. I honestly think lunch can be a really annoying meal to plan for and make, but I saw this thing on TikTok recently of people putting a bunch of different veggies through a veggie chopper and just kind of like having it like a salad. And I love doing different fun salads to have throughout the week. Today we're going to make a big tuna salad to have for lunch the next few days, or even something like cowboy caviar, where it's just a bunch of different good foods thrown together, mixed together, you put it on bread, you eat it with crackers, you have it over lettuce, like literally however you want it. I think it keeps it fun because there's so many different things. And this little veggie chopper hack, I'm all about. I love using this thing. Literally like 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll link one. I chopped a red onion in there. We will do celery. Beautiful. And I really think if you're adding lettuce, if you chop up the lettuce smaller, it's so much better and more fun to eat. So I'm even gonna put some lettuce through the veggie chopper. These are already kind of small, but honestly, why not? Maybe you'll eat more veggies this way. If you're making like a single proportion, you could literally eat it out of this, but I'm gonna make a larger bowl to have throughout the week. If you like tuna, it is so cheap and so good for you but I also really understand if you don't like it. Light mayo, Dijon mustard, and the chopped mix. Eating healthy is so much easier, number one, if you plan for it, and number two, if you actually flavor it. <laughs> like the onions do a lot here, I'm adding texture in this. I'm gonna eat this with crackers. I love crackers. Like I could eat them all day. Like I could eat crackers just like chips. And now I have a good healthy lunch for the next two days as well. Look at that. I'm excited. I totally could have added like cucumbers and tomatoes in here, but maybe next time. Also, I really hate that feeling of when you eat lunch midday and then you try to go back to work and you like feel so sluggish and you don't want to do anything. Having a good lunch is pretty important, you know? I look at Pinterest recipes seriously all the time. I'll link my Pinterest. I just have like one giant food board, but comes in handy. If things are easy and actually fun, you enjoy them, you're more likely to do them. 
As the weather gets cooler, I feel like I just need some sort of fun hot drink while I'm working at my desk. It's just right. Is it me romanticizing getting computer work done or is it me being high maintenance or is it me? I don't know. It doesn't matter, but sometimes coffee can send me over the edge. I really like these superfood lattes. They're just a little bit less intense than coffee. Also, sometimes I'll do a mug of bone broth. It's really just the fact that I'm like sipping on something while I'm getting work done. So half the time, it doesn't matter what it is. I always want to go for that second cup of coffee, but lately I've been trying to steer clear of it and these things are just great options. This is a chai latte. Love that in the fall. A strategy I really like to think about, especially when it gets to be the colder weather, you know, maybe the less desirable environment is thinking of ways that you can essentially like maximize the benefits of certain healthy habits, things like that. Let me explain. Right now, I am about to hop on my walking pad under desk treadmill for the last hour-ish of computer work I have to do. I know not everyone has one of these. I did just make a whole dedicated video to it if you're interested and need help considering whether you want to get one or not, but things like this help you, you know, multitask, allow you to easily get more steps in, and then you don't have an excuse of like not going on walks or whatever in the winter time. Some other strategies, however, could be using things like ankle weights. When you do go on walks, you know, say you are someone that regularly takes walks, but you want to get more out of it, try adding ankle weights. You don't have to do it every day, but maybe a couple times a week. Something like this, obviously way less expensive than the walking pad. These were, I don't know, anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks just on Amazon. Something new I'm really excited to try out that has the same idea. When I say new, I mean literally came in the mail today. <laughs> Is this, it's a weighted vest. So it carries plates and you walk with it. I figured I'd put a shirt on first, like 60 out. Do I just like wiggle in? There's gotta be a better way to do that. <laughs> I like squish my whole face. I mean, it fits, like it's good. <laughs> but so this itself isn't like heavy. You put plates somewhere. I'm just gonna throw, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out what makes sense for me. So I put these cutie little baby two and a half. So I put one here, one here. We'll put the other two and a half in the side. I'm gonna need help with this though. So, I, oh, actually, need help my ass. Look at that. I can do it all. Cause you know, I don't wanna like stack this thing full of a billion pounds, but we got an extra five in front and an extra five in back. I am so excited about this. I feel so cool. Fit girl fall. <laughs> Two point five nine miles and forty four minutes. I'm honestly pretty tired after that. <laughs> My point is ankle weights, the walking desk, a vest, and the list goes on, right? But they're all just ways that you can like maximize the benefits or like multitask, you know, like make things easy for you and make them convenient for you and you're more likely to do them and stick to them. That's a key thing you'll learn if you read Atomic Habits. <laughs> For dinner tonight, I put together some kale chips. I just cut up some kale through olive oil and garlic salt on them and put them in the air fryer. And then I'm gonna reheat stuff from last night. So I've mentioned Just Meats Feast Box on a video before, and I have some clips of me making it last night, but essentially it's like these pre-seasoned marinated packaged meats, and you just throw them on the stove, cook them for literally two minutes to like reheat them and they're like ready to go quality meats, just like a really good dinner. Each one comes with like four to five servings, so I have a ton left from yesterday. Reheat some potatoes in the air fryer, and look at that, perfect dinner. Here is the spread. Potato, kale for a veggie, pork Kahlua, beautiful. I really just think a protein and a veggie at every meal is smart. I know this veggie is like coated in salt and stuff. Then you do whatever else you want with the rest. Finished my workout for the day. Wednesday is usually just cardio for me, so I did a long, nice treadmill session. I feel so good. Good dinner, good workout. Now let's get a good shower in. I'm just really happy. I've been keeping up with my workouts, and I'm going to. I'm gonna carry it through and just keep doing it. Through the winter, through the holidays, just, just keep going, you know? Keep getting better, better every day. Keep doing me. Just feeling good, honestly. And that's why I wanna keep doing it, is because I'm feeling good. Another habit that I really like that I've actually been really good about lately is using the gua sha. I wasn't super consistent with it in the summer, but honestly, I really was basically the rest of 2023, which I'm very happy about. Usually I do it in the shower, 
so that I don't have to get all oily like all the time. I know it's smart to use it like all over your like decollete and your neck and everything, but I don't really know all the steps. For example, some people like tap somewhere and like open up whatever and I just like don't know. Or like I saw this girl on TikTok the other day like use it on her chest, like just like this and I just, I've never done that, but maybe I'll start. I don't know. Because as much as I like to glow from within all the way out, using tools like this to drain your lymph nodes and snatch you is a lot of fun. So I'll always do the jaw, and I like to bring it down and try to like drain it down here. Does this work? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I do think over time my jawline looks more snatched, but like how much am I doing? I literally have no idea. I'll also do the cheekbones like this right here and then I like to take a flat side and kind of like comb upward same with my forehead and obviously I'll do all of the same on the other side too I don't know it's kind of fun to play around with of course you're gonna get red it doesn't hurt it's just normal I'm using the Elemis superfood facial oil it honestly smells so good like I don't think it's scented necessarily but the ingredients in it it smells like a salon to me and I love it. I've broken so many rose quartz ones, so that's why I have a stainless steel one. It's literally like six bucks from Amazon, so I recommend. Over time, I definitely see a difference, and I've been doing it again for like a month after being inconsistent throughout the summer, so I'm ready to like get snatched. Something I think is really smart to do for the winter season is try out some healthy desserts that you really like. I recently got a Ninja Creamy and I'm obsessed with it. This is mainly just the cake batter from your protein shake. It's so good, tastes like cake batter. I'm gonna make ice cream. However, there's so many different things on Pinterest you could look up, whether it's like different types of breads or like protein based cakes or I don't know, different things like that. But I do think it's smart to have a go-to like healthier alternative dessert because you can still make them taste really good. Healthy doesn't automatically mean bad but especially in the cooler weather, I feel like my sweet tooth really amps up, so think ahead. Look at that. Texture's perfect every time. I do have a whole video on the Ninja Creamy if you're curious. This is good. I just think it's smart to have a couple handy, good desserts. If you're anything like me, you eat more sweets in the winter, so. My legs are so tired, which is great, but I'm excited to go to bed. Calling it a night. Do not forget to check out Bellway. The link below can get you 25% off your first purchase. Hope you're starting off the last quarter of the year strong and establishing your foundation. Carry those good habits with you through to the end of the year. I'm always rooting for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in my next one.